Her Majesty the Queen is preparing for a year full of events and celebrations to mark her extraordinary Platinum Jubilee milestone. Last month, she became Britain's first ever monarch to reach 70 years on the throne. It is a defiant feat given the turbulence the royal family has faced in recent decades, including tragedy, divorce, royals stepping down, not to mention the passing of her husband, Prince Philip. From Diana, Princess of Wales to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, a new biography has revealed how the monarch has kept her cool through it all. One aspect of the book, however, shows how the Queen neared a breakdown after her son, Prince Charles, was targeted by terrorists while carrying out public duties in Wales. Reviewing Robert Hardman's new book in the Daily Telegraph, Queen of Our Times, historian Jane Ridley recalled the incident. She wrote, Prince Charles's investiture at Carnarvon was a modern take on royal ceremonial designed by Snowden, but it became a target for terrorist Welsh nationalists, and Prince Charles was lucky to escape a bomb. Hardman reveals how shattering this was for the Queen. For the first time she cancelled her engagements and came close to breakdown. The man behind the master plan to disrupt Charles' ceremony was John Jenkins, a former sergeant with the Army's Dental Corp. In 1970, the ex-leader of Welsh paramilitary group Mudiard and Diffin Cymru, Mac, was jailed for 10 years. He later became a social worker and, according to his biographer Dr. Wynne Thomas, died peacefully in his sleep at Wrexham Maylor Hospital in December 2020. Mr. Jenkins became involved in the plan to bomb Charles' investiture the night before he was due to arrive. However, the device exploded unexpectedly, killing two members of the MAC in Abergelly. The following day, two more bombs were planted in Carnarvon. One exploded in a police constable's garden as a 21-gun salute was fired. Another was planted near the castle but did not go off at the time it was supposed to. It was later found by a 10-year-old boy who was left seriously injured when it exploded. Dr. Thomas said Mr. Jenkins was a man of fierce principle who suffered much for a cause he believed in, and for a country he loved dearly. He was radicalized by the drowning of Trewerin and the Abavan disaster, an event which the Queen later admitted was one of the biggest regrets of her reign. Penny Juna, a royal biographer, writing in her 2005 book, The Firm, revealed how memories of the accident, which saw 116 children and 28 adults die after the collapse of a colliery spoil tip, pained her. As Ms. Juna wrote, the Queen is said to regret her delay in visiting Abba Van in 1966, recognizing in hindsight that it was a mistake not to be there immediately to comfort the grieving and express her sorrow. She added, I suspect she regrets her instincts during that week after Diana's death, too.